my name is Cecilia Rebess, and I'm the author of Everything's Fine, which is an unconventional love story. It's about two very different young people who fall reluctantly, complicatedly, passionately in love. Jess is our protagonist. She meets Josh. Jess is black. Josh is white. Josh is liberal. Josh is conservative. So I think in a lot of ways, this is a familiar story. Opposites attract, tale as old as time. But what makes this kind of timeless story feel timely is that it's set between the years of 2008 and 2016, so bookended by Obama and Trump's presidencies. And so the arc of their relationship traces the arc of America's increasingly fractured political climate. And so it's not so much a will they, won't they, as a should they, shouldn't they. So now we'll talk about a couple of books that I feel like are in conversation directly and indirectly with Everything's Fine. Going way back in time, we have Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I think a lot of people think of Jane Austen as kind of the mother of the rom-com. Um, and what I love about Mansfield Park is that it's a bit of a departure. I think that's what a lot of people maybe don't love about this book. It's not, I think, her most popular. Um, but what I like about it is that the protagonist um, isn't quite as sparky as her usual protagonist, but she is wonderfully drawn. Um, and so I would love to read a quote that I think will say more about her than I could. She was feeling, thinking, trembling about everything, agitated, happy, miserable, infinitely obliged, absolutely angry. The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Um, this book is really difficult. Um, it is a coming of age story. So in a lot of ways, I think everything's fine is also a coming of age story. Um, and it's about sort of the insidious nature of white supremacy. Um, it's a tragedy. I think it's about abuse, hatred, um, neglect. But a lot of the themes in this book um, around, you know, identity, belonging, um, internalized racism are themes that Everything's Fine also explores, although obviously very different register um, and the stakes are quite different. But I think me, as is the case for I think many uh, black female American writers, sort of stand on Toni Morrison's shoulders. And so I am indebted to her and actually one of the epigraphs from my novel comes from this exact book. So next we have Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This book has it all. Um, it's a bit of a love story. Um, it's a bit of political fiction. It's an interrogation of race um, in America. And I think that it's smart, it's funny, it's observant. Um, and in relationship to Everything's Fine, this book you know, is of particular interest to me because it's set in the years leading up to um, the Barack Obama presidency. And so Everything's Fine kind of picks up where this book left off. And I think it's really interesting to think about um, you know, the conversations we were having about race um, in the period before and in the period after. And this book does that really well.